Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Um, and a very merry, chilly Christmas to you. Winter is setting in. It summed it up the other day when I was listening to LBC and some woman person. Can I say that? A, them, a them, was uh, interviewing an expert from the Met office. And he said about, she asked about, why is it so cold? He said, well, it, it is very cold. It can get down to minus 10 because of the low pressure and philolopit and all coming around the anticyclone and the cold front and follow up. And she said, well, this is global warming, isn't it? And he said, well, um, no, it's winter. And she said, yeah, but, but, but that's caused by global warming, isn't it? It's called, it's called by climate change. Yes, yes, he said to this expert female, Yes, a climate change is, is the climate changes from summer to winter. This is the winter and it will get better in a minute. So uh, she was put back in her place. I love the one of the, uh, the, the girl footballers now that they have as pundits on there. And this girl ticked every box that there was being non-white and, uh, and, and a footballer. And she's talking about a footballer and said, well, he's done very, very well. He's, he's scored 19 goals in 40 appearances, which is, uh, what is roundabout, uh, won a game. Mm. How do these people get jobs just because they tick boxes? OK, well, talking of football, um, England are out. Everyone keeps playing that. Have you seen the one where he takes a free kick and it goes over the bar and hits a bloke on the head on the park bench? <laughs> just fantastic. I, th I think England should have done better. They've got some great strikers. And the best striker of all, of course, is not Harry Kane. It's that Mick Lynch. What an horrible bloke he is, that Mick Lynch. Did you see him today? True colours. His feet must have been a bit cold. Was it Mickey boy? Salt of the earth? Hey, when you're talking to Richard Madeley, I don't, I don't blame you for disliking him. But what was all that about? Hey, really, you seem so smug and arrogant with yourself, don't you, Mr Lynch, Mr Mick Lynch? I don't know you as a person, but I know loads of people like you. And of course, the nurses, the ambulance drivers and border force are coming out on strike right now when the country needs everyone to tighten their belts. The nurses are coming out on strike. What is that about? It takes 18 hours to get a splinter out your thing in, in A&E now with the nurses, if you can. Let, and we all stood and clapped for them. Well, clap no more. Ambulance drivers, they're going to go on strike. Will anyone notice? I mean, it, it takes 15 hours for an ambulance to find you're dead and buried before they turn up and say, where's the patient? Six feet down, bottom of the garden. And border force. Well, you can go on strike forever because you're bloody useless, aren't you? We just 44,000 people got in the country this year. And just blame the government. Blame Suella. Blame Liz. Blame anybody. Uh, but uh, no, 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 no. Border force are going on strike. And uh, Mickey Lynch... Well done. And now he's had a go at Maidley, which is a plus in my book, Mickey boy. Um, but you had a go at, uh, on, uh, I don't know, BBC, I think. You called Miss Hussein as being a right-wing parrot. Mick, she's in the BBC and her name's Hussein. I think you ought to have a little look beyond your own ego and see what's uh, going on. Anyway, let's think about the veterans at Christmas. I always think about the veterans and people say, what are you worried about them for? Because someone has to worry about them. We've got a bit of a Christmas uh, song by the choir boys and all the prophets are going to care after comment. Let's have a look at a little bit of it. It, look, it looks like um, Jack Sparrow with a sore throat, but there you go. They're very, very good and they're donating all the profit from this record to uh, Care After Combat. Okay. Let's hear the choir boys and children sing. Christmas is near, let's raise a glass of tea, dear. And I wish you a happy new year. So Merry Christmas and a happy new year. There you go, that was the, the choir boys. Now if you're looking for a present, here we go. Jim Davidson from the horse's mouth. I do the sound effects myself, don't need to dub them on. Jim Davidson unlocked. Oh, you put that one on. And here's the best present ever. I got this today. Inspirational man called Scotty Mills. Even though, dun, 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 he's a Millwall supporter. He is the most inspirational, nicest man I have ever, ever met. 
and he is a Royal Marine Major. I've met him many, many times. And this is a book about, about how you can prepare yourself for life and how you react to other people. And if, if Scotty is anything to go by, it's great. It's a fantastic read and you can uh, get it on Amazon. You will thoroughly, thoroughly enjoy this book. Gareth Southgate, a huge part of our journey coming together as a team. Gareth Southgate, well, I'd cross that out now. Who's going to be the new England manager? Who do I want? Who do I want? Quick. I don't know. Chris, right. Chrissy Powell. Same colour. <laughs> Excellent. OK, so let's just, uh, just before we go, and we go over to Ustream, here on the screen now, full screen, is our Christmas schedule on Ustream. Now, here's me doing a voice over it. Uh, yeah, it's going to be some great, great, great programs. And don't forget, folks, on January the 7th, you'll be able to access us on your television. Sign up now at Ustream.com. Get your year's thing. You get two months off if you do a year. You can see all over Christmas. And on January the 7th, you just log, put your login details on the TV. Whack, we're only on. And do you know what? There's no cancel. Oh, blimey, I was cancelled then. Okay, see you soon. Let's go over to Ustream. Happy Christmas.